should be serious. No, Kuku, please. My guest is, my guest is fooling behind the camera. Please, madam. <laughs> Fuck us. Hi, lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Oforewa Diodo, with another interesting video if this is the first time you're seeing me i am a youtuber based in accra ghana do well to join this family su support this family by subscribing to this channel liking my videos and sharing them with friends and family if you're an og if you're an old subscriber you already know i'm so grateful to have people like you coming back each and every time to watch and like my video all right so as the title of this video suggests today we are going to talk about the pressures of getting married before the age of 30. i have with me another 30 year old single single -old. the underlined word is single <laughs> how many times did i say single <laughs> i have with me another single youtuber to talk about this issue Without further gibberishing, let's welcome my own girl. Madam, are you coming on? Yes. Cuckoo's TV, let's welcome yes. her. Woo! Mommy, push. Give me, let me shine. Allow me to shine. I'm the single one here. Go ahead. This sell is the Marie sell your market. Let me sell my market. Mm -hmm. If you are single and you are a gentleman and you are nice, don't be correct. Just be 0 0.01, okay. Don't be correct. Don't be correct. Are you sure? I don't need you to be correct. Hey. There's no correct. Even the correct people are programs. <laughs> yeah. Don't be correct. All you need to do is just get 0 0.02 IQ. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, one thing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm blessed and happy to be on your channel today. Okay. This is just to lighten up the atmosphere, but on a more serious note, this is a very important and delicate topic. Yeah. Okay. So, as women, I think it cuts across, but yeah. for African women, the pressure is more. After uni, whilst guys are looking for jobs and focusing on career development, women automatically are looking to get married. And I don't know who said the rules, but then. Yeah. You get the pressure from friends, family, society. parents, society. Everybody's just looking at you like sis. Yeah. What's up? Time, time is so. Time, time is so. so. I'm already married, and I got married before I turned thirty. So for me, like I've escaped that one. Yeah. I don't. She's out of the market. Yeah. Thank I you. I don't. I don't. I don't get that pressure. Yeah, so really. I can't really relate. And but you don't know the pressure has turned to luxury. Really? Yeah. Luxury. Yeah. How? The pressure has turned to luxury. How? So you know, sometimes in life you have to turn the negativity into your advantage yeah. so that you can make it. So for now, my own, it is no longer pressure again because now I'm enjoying luxury. I'm not saying it is bad to get married, mm -hmm. but one thing that I have learned in this life is life itself is a journey. There's no guarantee in life, and life is full of risk. Mm -hmm now you have a lot of people i have a lot of people around me who got married mm -hmm. at age 30 just because of the pressure associated with family um the society and then the public as well and today when you sit down there and you talk to them they tell you that i regretted getting married at 30 because that is the that is when <clears throat> you do but the not uh, to not to cut your last it. chance this is this is before 30, so yes. then at that at 30, there the pressure the is pressure is higher. Yeah, uh, but for me, yeah. yeah. But I think for me, let me just give you a flashback of the way I planned myself. Mm -hmm. I planned myself in such a way that at the age of 30, I'm done giving birth. I'm done with my masters. Like I, I created a goal for my own self mm -hmm. that you know what at this age, this time I want to do this and do that before at the age of 30. But you see. You are not God. Yeah. You cannot decide what your life should be. Yeah. You plan and then God yeah. just thinks that you and he laughs. Yeah. But I think I didn't actually experience the pressure when I was like 28, 29. That was when 
I my mom started telling me. Oh, so not to catch you. It's not a myth. It's actually true. It's, it's real. It's, it's, it's real. It's happening. I, I feel the yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah. I feel the pressure because unfortunately for me, I have two younger siblings who have eight year old kids. So if you are a mother and you give birth and then your first child is focusing on education, I want to go to school, I want to bring the bank, I want to do this, I want to do that. And your, the younger ones are giving birth, you would definitely feel like you need to push that child for the, that child to come to that realization of getting married. Wow. See, sometimes when you are getting to your 30 and you are more focused on life, um, material things or education, People think you are not focused on getting married. Sometimes you are waiting for the marriage to come, but the marriage is not appearing. You understand? Mm -hmm. So if it is not appearing, that is why you have to channel your energy. It's like having a broken heart. You don't have to be sitting down there when you have a broken heart and then you'll be listening to love stories and love songs. You have to channel your energy into something else. So if the marriage is not coming, you can't stress yourself. You cannot kill yourself. Life goes on. Life goes on. We are in Africa. Oh, like being in the European country where you can go and see somebody and say, oh, you know what? Let's go and get married. But we're in Africa. You cannot go and tell yeah. a man. Yeah. But for me, if I see somebody that I like, Europe, I can approach. Can yeah, and... yeah. You can see the person and then you can even have a smooth arrangement with the person. Let's go and pick it like we are my, my husband and then let's leave. Let's have a kid and then everybody will be living their life. Yeah, own but life. in Ghana, that's yeah. Like, that's more like a, an open, open, open marriage. marriage. Yeah. yeah. So that's a, that's a different concept and those kind of things. It, it, it doesn't work really in work Africa. in Africa. It won't work. You hey. understand? So if you are not married at age 30, you instead of sitting down there and then whining and then crying and complaining, you better have to focus on some other things. Okay, you so, understand? Yes, I also believe that it's not fair for people to assume that you should have this or you should have that at this age or at that age because we can all agree that life is not fair. Life has never been fair. fair. You yeah. see? You see someone following all the rules, go to school, go to church, be a good girl, stay at home, learn how to cook, do all the, everything. Yeah. She ticks all the boxes, but then you find the person still single yeah. and not finding yeah. the right partner. So let me not and you also, you. I grew up in a Pentecostal home. Mm -hmm. I didn't even wear trousers at, up to the age of 21. Yeah. I, my, my first sexual encounter was at the age of 22. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And I believe I believe that um, to stay, you know, pure and holy for marriage mm -hmm. is the right thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we believe that this is the right thing, but I still believe that it has some other way that is not yeah, right. So I was I was not right, but then maybe it doesn't favor. Yeah. Because you see, I was coming to the point that. At the same time, right, you expect these women to go out there. This is why some of us fall into wrong marriages yeah. or at the end of the day, we marry the wrong person because you see, there's the man, he can search or he can try and test, but the woman cannot. Not. There's too much responsibility yeah. on the woman. Okay, so it doesn't give her the opportunity to really decide and have options. It's not okay for a woman to have more than one boyfriend, right. but it's okay for a guy to have more than one girlfriend. And they get to have options and choose. Yeah. And it's the it's the opposite for the woman. So even at um at at age 30, for me, I'm still learning. I'm still, you know, getting to know myself. So I feel like if the person is going and finds their partner and wants to get married, fine, that is good for them. But then if the person does not find that person, because life, uh, marriage is a lifelong commitment. Yeah. So you cannot just choose to marry anyone mm -hmm. just like that, just because you want to get married. You need to really think about it and make sure that you are making the right decision. The right decision. So then if the person does not meet or necessarily meet that person, I think that she should not be forced into marrying. Okay? And if you are able to, you know, solve that issue or, you know, change that narrative or that mindset, then we even solve 
future divorces. Yeah. Yes, we, 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 we have even solved half of the future divorce cases. Okay, because a lot of these women get married, a lot of us are also a woman, so a lot of us get married and you know in, in the moment it's like everybody is getting married and you know i'm the one i'm the only one being left behind so you two you follow the group you get married and a few years after you find out that yeah, and even that case cry that one cry is not certain because you you know if a man wants to hide something he will hide it yeah and when you get married that's when you you know it's a lot of uncertainty in marriage there's a lot of you know work there's a lot of complications there's a lot of things you know marriage is like a whole big thing so i i, I strongly believe people should not be forced into marriage mm -hmm. and if you are um, getting to 30 or you are 30 and you haven't found that person please don't don't feel it's not because i'm married so i'm it's like I'm okay to say whatever I want. To no, but at the end of the day, you are married, so you have to know that it is. is it no, easy? but some people will say that too. So they are married because you, know, you are married. Yeah, so you are saying that. You are saying, saying that it's, it's, it's okay. To, yeah, you are saying that it's yeah. okay. Me, I should wait. Do but you, but for me, I don't. I, I I I never for once envy anybody who is married before thirty. Mm -hmm. I believe that. I, 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 for, for, for six years, I said to myself, I'm not going to be in any relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have any sexual affair mm -hmm. and I'm just going to learn myself. That was when I realized that at the age of 24, I didn't know myself. Mm -hmm. I was lost big career wise. Um, my professional, my dreams and ambition. I was just lost. Mm -hmm. You understand? So let's take, for instance, if I had gotten married at the age of that 24, mm -hmm. that I felt like I was lost. I was confused. Yeah, that's that's a good, a valid point. What would what would my marriage life be? No, but I also think that uh, it's like if you find a person and you feel that is the person, you should just go ahead and marry the person. That's how I feel. Yeah. Because even those that have stayed in themselves for two hundred years, mm -hmm. they they can still end up divorcing. Yeah. They understand. So it's just about you. If you meet someone you like, you love the person. Mm -hmm. And you really want to commit to the person. Yes. But, for, but, but for me, it's, it's not my, about it's, love alone. It's about you it's, being it's, psychologically, it's, physically, it's, and mentally no. ready. Sometimes it comes with that. I will say that sometimes. No, but some people can even get married. Meanwhile, they feel like they are in love. But it is not love. It is in love. That is what it is. No, that is, it is no, maybe no, 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 no. they are not love mentally is, or you psychologically said ready. That, you said something that I agree with you. That love is not enough i agree with you on that yeah but for me for me the connection communication mm -hmm. and commitment mm -hmm. is everything it's everything for me yeah communication commitment and then the connection mm -hmm. so love is added on of course you have to feel attracted to someone you have to love the person before you can indulge in other things uh -huh. yeah that yeah. uh -huh. That sets the pace, but at the end of the day, it takes more than that. It is, I feel there's the only nipano or you feel the person will mature him. Because there's I just feel like there's so many uncertainty. You can say this person is mature, this person is this, you go and marry the person, and that person will be the one to surprise you. You can say, Oh, this one is not mature, you marry the person and she develops into a totally different, different person. person. Do you understand? Yeah. So it's about you and your luck and how you you, you make are, it you work to make it work. Do you understand? Yeah. Because it, we we have seen um certain you know union that we feel oh this is the uh, perfect uh, this one is made in heaven, and then they end up <laughs> in a mess surprising you or you know and some people you see them in the uncle don't mind them they're just fooling this one yeah. they won't go anywhere. You see them, they were the same married and after years they are bonding. They are they are still together. Yeah. Do you understand? So. It's it, uh, every it, my, it's, it has everything to do with luck. Luck has to, yes, it has everything to do with yeah. luck. You see, and God's timing. Mm -hmm. So, I, I'm not saying that um, you should relax and do nothing. You know, but then if you know you are doing everything or what is expected of you, and it's still not coming, just keep praying. Yeah. And like she said, develop yourself. Just. Yeah. Take your mind off that if you want to 
go ahead and do your degree, do it. If you want to learn a skill, do yeah. it. If you want to do your second degree, you want to do your PhD, whatever you want to do. Yes, you, you want to start a side hustle. Just focus on your life and on yourself. And self-development is everything. everything. It's, it's very sexy. I'm telling you. Yes, it's very sexy to me. So sometimes God is really making that perfect happy ever after for us or the perfect ending for us. So we need to be a little bit patient. And um, yeah, you should be able to withstand the pressure. And our, 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 our family, our, the society, sometimes we ourselves, we are part of the problem. We say, oh, in, in Africa. But we are all part of, of it. We are all in Africa. Some of us will say, hey, <laughs> like you, especially when you're friends and everybody is married, right, one that yeah. is not married, then now she will be your concern topic. Yeah, the pressure. Day. Everywhere yes. the married people meet, mm-hmm. you are the topic for that day. You know? You see that. Yeah. You see that. And some the last time my friend was arguing with me, he, he was telling me that the bad girls, mom, they get married quickly yeah. or yeah. easily. And then the good the ones, good ones, are ones so will struggling. suffer. Yeah. Mm, but yeah, we should living. be good girls. We are mm-hmm. being good girls and now the the husband material is not coming. Yeah, the name. So, so the kaba is like one hand. And now you are giving us pressure. What do you want us to do now? Yeah. So for me, I think with my journey and my experience being single at the 30, I think I have come to that strong-minded conviction that marriage one is a laugh, and you don't have to. Force it. You don't have to force it. You don't have to say that I am 30 or I'm going, I'm getting to the age of 30, so I have to force it. Like when I meet somebody, I can tell the person that, hey, me, I want to get married. So if you're not ready to marry me, don't come and waste my time. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's good for you to be able to know what you want and go for it. But the way or the manner in which you You carry yourself or you say it also matters. So I would advise that don't say that because you are 30 and no, your family and are not, giving I'm not, you pressure. I'm not cutting you, but you know sometimes those things, they come with they come with growing up and yeah, maturing. Yeah, maturing. You understand? Sometimes it's like it's not intentional, but like you're at a, a point in your life. Yeah, because society you is don't, for you. Don't, you don't know, but yeah. your mother is giving so you Sometimes pressure. it has nothing to do with society. It has nothing to do with society, but you yourself, you're at a point in your life where you have very little, little tolerance for, for time wasted. Yeah. So if you see the person say, but please, I'm not interested. If you are not here to, oh yeah. Yeah. You get it. Yes. There are some people like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In some situations too, yeah, you find people, I say it's not like it's intentional or she's being pressured, but like when you go up to her, so you you you, you, you have low you, tolerance for wasting your time. Yeah, so you you spot them from afar. Yeah. And immediately so for me, they come, you, you yeah. Them. For me, I think it is better you kind of like spot the person from far because when you are twenty eight to thirty, I think at that age you should be more matured to have a foresight to see somebody who is not serious. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. How can I be thirty at this age and just say that I am going to be in a relationship without? a defined reason for that relationship. Mm-hmm. I can be in a defined, undefined relationship when I want to have fun. Yes, that was you when you were Yeah, younger. that was when I was younger. But now that I'm sitting here, if I'm going into any relationship, I know what I want. I am not sure. You understand? So I will want to have a defined relationship. So it's, the person should be able to tell me that, okay, can you be my girlfriend? Can, I, can you be my friend with benefits? Can mm-hmm. we have a one-night one stand? Yeah, so and it's, you decide yeah, and if, I decide if I want it or I don't want it. You mm-hmm. understand? Mm-hmm. But the problem that we also um, kind of have at this age when you are 30 is that sometimes we might not wear the desperate face, mm-hmm. but we might portray to be desperate. You understand? Yeah. And one thing I have learned in a very wild way is men will always use your this, weakness yeah. to get whatever they They'll want. Take from advantage you. of I remember, I remember later last year I met one guy and then 
he watched my video and then he he see, he heard me saying that I'm very crazy, I'm open minded, and I do what I want to do. The fact that I'm very crazy and open minded doesn't mean that if I meet any man, yeah. I'm going to open my legs for that woman to have whatever he wants to do with me. And if I don't feel yeah, you I understand. Guess. So he was like, okay, this is what you said in your video that you are this. And I'm like, okay, if that's what I said, it doesn't mean that yeah, the yeah. fact that I don't have that feeling for you, yeah. I'm going to do it with you. Yeah, I get it. You understand? Yeah. So therefore, when people get to Some know that you are 30, it, yeah. yes, when you are 30 and they get to know that you are 30, they feel like at the end of the day, this is what she wants. And she, he would do everything humanly possible for you to know that he is ready to get married to you. And that is when you have to put in more thinking. More, you have to be more vigilant. In other not to be used. You understand? Yeah. And one thing that I keep saying that I don't even believe in being used because when you enter into a room with a man, as a woman at this age, you should know what is possible of happening. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I don't believe when people say, oh, I have been used and all those things. Sometimes we, we, we close our eyes mm -hmm. and open our hearts to certain things until we fall victim before our eyes will rather be opened. Mm -hmm. You understand? So one thing I will, I will advise my, my, my fellow women who are at the age of 30 is that, first of all, if you don't love yourself, nobody will love you. Mm -hmm. If you don't love yourself, if you're waiting for somebody to come and tell you that you look pretty, they will come and tell you you look pretty. But you look back in the mirror and ask yourself, do I really look pretty? So first of all, build your own self-love. That is the most important thing. For me, not being in a relationship for the past six years, one thing I have learned is to love myself. Because what you have reflects on what somebody should give you. Mm -hmm. So if I see somebody and I tell they the person... They will give what they say. So yes. I want to ask you, how do you block out the pressures? How do you make sure that... You don't get affected or bothered by this pressure from the society, family, friends. You know, sometimes it's not even in a bad way, but then people still mention it. Yeah, for me, to answer your question, I would say that I have a very amazing and strong-minded people around me mm -hmm. whom in any way I am able to open up to, mm -hmm. to seek for advice and stuff like that mm -hmm. because Sometimes, in order for you to overcome all these questions, you need strong-minded people who will encourage you that it is not a curse. Mm -hmm. it, is, it, is, it is not the end of the world for you. So instead of you sitting down there and crying for a man to fall off from a tree to come and marry you, it is time for you to build yourself. So for me, I think one is the people I have around me that inspires me that some you are you are a beautiful woman. Yeah. You are a strong-minded person. Mm -hmm. Someday somebody will come. So yeah, do you yeah. think your upbringing has an effect on the reason why you are not a do you think so? Yeah. Does it have any direct impact on the reason why you are still single? Yeah, I, I, I will say it yes and then no. And this is the reason why I will say this yes and then, then no. The yes part is I grew up in a Pentecostal family where you were you were told that don't wear trousers, don't go here, don't do this. So I never had any young growing up exposure. Mm. So I was I was kind of like count in. Yeah. So yeah, until you didn't, you didn't no, enough. I left. I left my mom's place, and 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 the fact is, I actually ran away from home mm -hmm. when I was like twenty one years old yeah. because I felt like I have been calmed, I have been, I have been compressed, mm -hmm. and I needed to explore. I needed to see what the world is. Mm -hmm. So when I got there, I experienced almost everything, and in that time. Because at the age of 16, 18, 20, that is when you need that exposure. Mm -hmm. You understand? So if you're not given that exposure, it, it gives you that mentality that maybe you are not enough. You don't have that much confidence to even be able to allow yourself to be loved. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then one thing that the, 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 the no part of it being that my upbringing has affected me is also that at least I was brought up in a godly way. Yeah. And now I have some morals and principles that I still it's have that is holding me in. So in one way or the other, it is helping, it helped, 
and in the other way it is it didn't also help but it is on to me to sit down and know that yes. this is what i want this is me this is what i want to do and this is what i am gearing towards to and at the right time and you know something because of my figure when somebody sees you or when somebody gets to know that you are not even um in the relationship they go like wow why with all this ass and all this body and this face why are you still yes. single people don't even understand why you are still single with this body so sometimes i think for me i have to sit with my mom and tell my mom what i want to be happy with a man because our parents sometimes think that you you, you sh- people are, my mom says that it's not like people are not coming but i am not allowing them yeah. so i have to sit my mom down yeah. and tell my mom where and what i have been experiencing with men that is making, for, making me not accepting them yeah. because some people are in my at my age but they are not able to sit down with their mother and explain to them because now my mom is kind of like understanding me to help me build and understand myself more and to even pray about where I fall short when it comes to relationship. Mm-hmm. But when you when you are not able to talk to your mother, your parents, your parent, for them to understand and help you physically and mentally and socially, that is right. spiritually, that is when they give you more pressure. Yeah. So let me ask you a personal question. So how do you feel right now? Right now, I feel like what's be genuine how do you feel that's bother you how do you feel i i feel where i am i'm very happy at where i am right now because currently i am mentally matured the mistakes that i would have done in maybe a year or two ago mm-hmm. today i know better mm-hmm. now i love myself more i put myself first in everything i do more on like when i had my insecurities i felt like okay i was a plus size girl and um i wasn't confident in myself to even allow myself to be loved mm-hmm. but now i am so confident i'm extremely confident that it is not about my body. Yes, yeah, it's not about me. No, it is not about me, but it is about the people that I meet. Yeah. So at this very moment, I will be so happy if I find that right person. Not the necessarily right person who is going to give me everything that I want because there is none that is perfect. Mm-hmm. We all have our flaws. Yeah. But if that person hasn't come, yeah okay i am okay all right so, so, let, so me, then. let me ask you my last question before i bring this um video to an end if you are given the opportunity to go back and correct something or change something mm-hmm. would you and if you would what would that be hmm. I, I would say that i am so proud of every mistake every flaws, Mm -hmm. every disadvantage, every setback, every betrayal that I have experienced back then Mm -hmm. because that has actually reflected to who I am today. Okay. And for that reason, I wouldn't change anything. One thing that I would rather do more is to just get up and do whatever my heart tells me to yeah. do without any restriction. Yeah. If, if he says that do this, I'm going to do it yeah. and I don't try care. more things. Yeah, take, explore. Be, yeah, explore. Make more mistakes. Take more risks because it would definitely pay off. Your yesterday mistakes would definitely tend to be an a success story tomorrow. Yes, your experiences are always lessons. Yeah. So do not feel bad for your mistakes mm-hmm. and you know, put yourself to do more. Yeah. All right. It's through that that you get to know yourself and know how to manage situations. Yeah. All right, Pupus. Thank you so much for You're gracing our screen. Yeah. You've been an awesome Some guest. guest. <laughs> You've been an awesome <laughs> guest. Thank yeah. you so much. You're yeah, welcome for passing through. So, guys, you've heard it from the perspective of a single, unmarried, thirty-year-old lady. Families and friends, please, the pressure is too much. Allow us to operate at our own time so that we avoid broken homes and the uh, divorces, you know, yeah. and build more healthier, happy families. Mm-hmm. All right. Your last words 
So my last word is, if you are 30 or maybe you are 28 to 30 years and you are not married and you are getting a lot of pressure, remember that when you follow that pressure and you get married, you'll be the only person to wetting suffer. your pillow <laughs> in the night. Yes. So don't allow anybody to give you pressure. Marry when you are ready. Marry for you. Not what the society was saying. There is nobody taking the clock. Nobody is taking the clock. You are your own and God is your creator. And in his own time, he will definitely make everything beautiful. Wow. Thank you very much. So in his own time, he will definitely make everything beautiful. All right, guys. That brings us to the end of another educative and very interesting conversation thank you so much for watching all the way through to the end that is if you watch and you didn't skip <laughs> till we meet again my crown i'm out bye, -bye. oh my god <laughs>